So hi everyone, welcome to Matt's Plants. I'm in the middle of a nature reserve, in the middle of nowhere. Um, the roads to get here were the worst I've ever seen. Uh, there's thunder rolling in the distance. Um, I'm fairly lost, but I found what I was looking for. Uh, there you go, that is Drosera uh, rotundifolia. Growing on a, on a heap, heap of sphagnum in the middle of nowhere on the edge of the West Midlands. In fact, I wonder if that might even be a hybrid uh, with Intermedia, perhaps. Okay, I've just got here, so let's see what else I can find. So, there you go. I'm in the middle of a bog. It smells awful. Thunder stopped. And a huge clump of... Yeah, it's definitely what's undefolia. Drosera what's undefolia. Growing in this uh, hummock of... Sphagnum here. Amazing. I love these plants. They grow so much better here than they do in my bog in my garden as well. Fantastic to give you some idea of where I am. And there my boots. Step out of there. Hopefully you heard the thunder. I get the feeling this isn't going to end well for me. Very exposed spot, lots of sun, constant, what looks like constant seepage going down to a small stream. Yeah, must be a lot of uh, heathers as well, bog asphodel, and uh, all of these Drosera. I'm going to get very wet, I uh, get used to it. Zoom in a bit, there you go. More thunder, obviously. This is always a good sign that you're in a marsh, in a bog in the UK. This is cotton grass. Always a good indicator. There you go. And, uh, yeah. More of a heather. No carnivorous plants that I can see, but this ginormous clump of red sphagnum. Actually fantastic. Okay, so I've walked a little okay, so I've walked a little way out of the bog. Uh, the thunder was making me nervous, although it does seem to have stopped. And uh, I found these, these are Iris Iris uh, Pseudocarpus. Corpus? Pseudo something. Iris pseudocorpus, I think. Really, really common. I see these a lot on the canal uh, near me in Worcestershire. But uh, yeah, hell of a thing. Really nice flower. And so, still staying out of the bog. Again, super common. This is uh, silverweed. Uh, I can't remember its Latin name. But the leaves go. Sort of quite silvery, and it's a rosaceae, I think, the uh, family. I'm being eaten alive by flies to add to the excitement of the day. It's brilliant, I love it. <sighs> yellow, uh, yellow pimpernel. Again, I can't remember the Latin. Uh, plenty of this around. No pingicula, annoyingly. That's what I was hoping to find today. <sighs> yeah. This is what I came to see. I think I've finally found it. So, loads and loads of cotton grass, which is a sign of bogginess. And in the bog, we find Pingicula vulgaris. Fantastic. Fantastic. I can go home happy now. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, common butterwort. Pingicula vulgaris. All I have to do is find my way back across the barbed wire fence back to the car. Easy. The thunder stopped. 
the sun's come out and I found something nuclear. In fact, I think annoyingly I found a common spotted orchid that's been eaten by a slug as well. No orchid, just the leaf. I've seen some orchids would really round off the day, but I can't see any. Oh god, I'm being eaten alive by flies. Sweating like the proverbial as well. There we go, pingicula, growing in the grass. Fuck, oh, fucking mosquito, Jesus. We want bits of the bone. Yeah. No, there we go. Pretty sure it's common spotted. One orchid. Not the best specimen I've ever seen, but an orchid nonetheless. And some more pingicula. Sorry, flies are driving me nuts. Have you some idea? for the cotton grass. No? Yes, no, no. Amazing amount of pingicula. Amazing amount. Okay. And uh pingicula vulgaris in flower. A little bit early but nonetheless you can probably see Drosera, sundew there as well, Drosera tendifolia. This sort of seep, this uh, huge amount of sphagnum moss, moss, which of course eventually, over millennia, will be compressed to make peat. Right, so this is uh, bog asphodel. Very, very wet. Conditions. And more of the sun juice. Whew. Also, lots of these tunneled webs. I don't know anything about insects. Huntsman spider? I don't know. They build these funnel funnel webs to catch prey. You can just see the spider in there. <laughs> 